Hi guys, it's Jen. Um, this is a quick card share. After this, I'm going to be uploading my video with my card for Bethany, BA Crafty Girls um, card challenge. And so I'm super excited about that. But first I want to show you a quick another card. And I don't think I showed... I'm pretty sure I haven't shown you this card. Even if I did, I know I didn't show you the envelope that I made. So bear with me. If you've already seen the card once I open it, you can stop watching there. This is the envelope. This paper is from um, the art um, hmm, text uh, type type of art. There we go. See, it only took a few seconds. Um, the type of art DCWV pack, and I really like it. It actually has sayings on it that are um, kind of like. Now I know what love is. Love stories never have endings. And this is for a bridal shower. I used some of the Dear Lizzie um, Polaroids. And of course, this one's only a half that's at the top of the page, but by tucking it under, you would never know that. This piece right here is washi tape from the Target um, washi tapes that we a lot of us got. This is just a doily, and I just secured the middle. These are really kind of cool. These are the DIY thickers that come just as plain chipboard. And so what I did was I used Dusty Concord Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and I inked them all up, put a layer of glossy accents on, put the, um, I think it was the Amethyst glitter from Martha Stewart on top, and then put more glossy accents on top. And so that is how they came out. They're quite cool. They're, yeah, they're pretty good. I'm happy with them. So then on the back, I just have it secured with washi tape. This is for my mom to um, give it a shower. And so this is the card, and this is a piece of paper from My Mind's Eye, from hmm, Howdy Doody, maybe? Not quite sure. This stamp right here that says congratulations is from Unity, and this is just a piece of um, scratch paper I had. And this is a Brad from, I believe it's Crate Paper. This is one of the hydrangeas that I made, and I think I did a video about the card that I did um, for another wedding and my mom had seen that one and I made some Mother's Day cards with hydrangeas for the craft fair that I did and she really liked it so that is made with that and to make it a little sturdier this time there is a little wooden disc under there these leaves are from the Hero Arts Hydrangea Punch uh, stamp sorry this is um, from the Hydrangea Punch the little pieces this is from the stamp and I just stamped those in chalk, chalk ink and used my blender pen um, I just use a Stampin' Up blender pen and pull out that green. Now this is what's really cool about this. So I got this um, technique from Britta Swiderski, and I can't remember the name of her YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to upload this on my iPad, but when I go onto a computer the next time I'll try and link it. She is awesome. Look her up. She is actually doing some work um, as Lawn Fawn's intern right now, so super cool. I wish I had scored that kind of gig when I was younger. Um, Anyway, what you do on the paper, she has a great video on this, but I'll give you kind of the quick version, is you take your distress inks and you just cover this whole paper. So that's what I did, and I used, um, I think I probably used the Dusty Concord for this also. And so, which I also inked around these edges, it was all just plain white at first. So anyway, you spread your um, distress ink on your paper, and then you put down a mask. Um, the one that she showed was actually, I think, it's kind of, a, she had an alphabet one, so you were, where you spray ended up being the design. This one is just the, um, Studio Calico Ampersand, and so I put it down, and she used water that had, um, pearlette, perfect pearl, sorry, the dog's, like, freaking out next to me, I think he wants to do a video, you want to do a video, Peanut? Oh, okay, not quite, alright. So anyway, sorry, um. So what I did was I put down the mask and then I just sprayed water over it and because the mask protects this part it stays that original color but the rest of this reacts and becomes the lighter color so then you get the ampersand on there. And then this card just opens up and I used another unity stamp and it says once in a while in the middle of an ordinary life love gives us a fairy tale which I thought was nice and so that's that card and I just put my stamp on the back. And yeah, that's it. So I just want to share that with you guys. I am going to end this here and I will go film my video for Bethany's challenge. I hope you'll come back and watch that one too. Thanks for watching. Bye.